Hello, here's Chris from the 3D Code blog and today I would like to show you a small option that can be used for specular objects. Um, you maybe know that uh, it is very nice to have specularity on objects in 3D Code, uh, especially when you use uh, textures for metal objects or gold and all this stuff. Here we have uh, an object that I have made for an upcoming tutorial. Uh, by me and this is a Roman sword and you can see I have uh, filled my sword with some specularity information and it looks already very nice but um, it would be much better when I could have the possibility to have a real reflection in my specular elements of this sword. This is possible in 3D code but I think uh, not much people know it so what to, to switch the mode on, you just move to View and Environment Shade. You maybe are a little bit uh, confused because it's Environment Shade and not Environment Reflection. Uh, I don't know the, the main reason for it, but I have the feeling it's just a small translation uh, mistake. So it means, uh, actually it means Environment Reflection. So when I switch this on, then I can see now a reflected uh, image in my specular uh, elements here in the blade and there in the gold parts of this object. This, uh, the strength of, of this uh, reflection is steered or controlled by my specular intensity. I move now to the, to the specular view here and I can see the the intense uh, the intensity of my specular value on on this model here you can see it's uh, just about uh, 25 or 50 percent and here it's 100 percent of specular specularity this values gives me the the uh, strength of my reflection in my color mode here so if you like to see the reflection again you just switch the environment shade mode on it's not a switch uh, it's not uh, switched on uh, uh, the the whole the whole uh, work process or the whole session so we have to switch it on and it's uh, switched off after when you have moved back to to the color mode so okay um, but you could uh, but you could uh, set a hotkey for it to to switch the environment shade mode on okay um, to change this image here, uh, which uh, represents the reflection, you go just to Edit, Preferences, and then you go to the, to the line where you have Environment Sphere Map. Um, it is called Environment Sphere Map you can, uh, because there is an imaginal or not visible sphere in the environment, and on this sphere this map is mapped on. So, you can see my image is chromic.jpg and you can just click here on and and choose just one of uh, one another just another image uh, what you like to have and it will, it will then it will be changed here okay this is all what i wanted to tell you ah maybe one one more point unfortunately it is not possible to render this uh, reflection reflection mode and uh, maybe Andrew or the programmers will will uh, change it in the future. I hope so, and then we can see some reflection maps in the rendering too. Here in the render mode, you can see it will be switched off. Uh, as I know, it cannot be switched on into the rendering. But anyway, it's a very good help to to work in the with specular elements and all these things. Yeah, maybe one more thing. I will show you what happened when I when I make this uh, sword a little bit more older. Um, I just do it by uh, choosing one of my brushes here. Okay, and make it a little bit bigger. And then I go to my specularity and set it to O. And now I can paint specular information. And this time I do. I switch the radius off. It's better for this. Now you can see this is my specularity information and now I go back switch my reflection mode on and I can see all my information that I'm painting in my 
specular layer or my specular channel will be used for my reflection too. So it's very nice to control metal objects and all these things. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed my small uh, tutorial or my small information. Bye bye!